sweet and beautiful friends welcome back to my channel my name is Mihaela and in today's video I'm going to show you the look I created before so if you want to see how I did it keep on watching Mwah! first thing that I'm going to do is to grab my hair <laughs> and then I am going to clean my face with the micellar water from Nivea cleaning your face is very important for uh, also for dust or for extra sebum, whatever. It's always better to start applying your makeup on a clean face. After I clean my face, I'm going to apply this base from a nourishing base from Makeup Forever. Is it called Step 1 Nourishing Primer? With a flat brush like this from Makeup Forever. 176 is the number. I'm just going to take the primer I cleaned my hands by the way before and I'm gonna tap it on my skin to get that nice and hydrated effect and uh, even You guys, this is a nourishing primer so what it has to do is really to feed up your skin to give that uh, hydrating effect but I also have the impression that it creates a um, mattifying effect on the skin so if you ask me this primer can be used for both one of my favorite color correct primer it's step one from uh, makeup forever base eclat radiate primer and I'm just going to use it on my bags to color correct uh, the violet color that I have. This is the amount of product that I'm going to use. I'm going to apply with the same brush. And I'm just gonna tap underneath my eyes. And you can immediately see how the violet color disappears. After I applied my nourishing primer and my color correct primer, I'm going to apply this foundation from MAC, the Match Master. It is a foundation, it's a matte foundation that has kind of a full coverage, that's why I'm not going to use too much on my skin. What I like the most about this foundation is that it doesn't charge a lot my skin and it also has this 15 step effect. With a flat brush from Makeup Forever, this is one of my favorite brushes to apply foundation, I am just going to grab little by little foundation and apply it all over my skin. If in the end I feel like I need a little bit more of foundation, I can always come and apply more. As you can see, I am applying little by little and I press very well into my skin. In that way, I don't need um, a beauty blender. I don't have anything against beauty blenders. It's just that every beauty blender that you use, when they dry, they attract a lot of bacteria. So be very careful when using a beauty blender because you may get into some skin problems. With my brushes, I'm always safe because I wash my brushes absolutely every day so I know very sure that they are clean and disinfected be very careful with your hairline push it really really good into your hairs because we don't want any harsh line we don't want to have a stop very visible at the beginning of the hair I see a lot of makeup artists that do that and I think it's really really inesthetic. Now I'm going to use the HD concealer from Makeup Forever in the shade I21. I am going to apply only this amount of product, I don't need very much because HD concealer, they're concealers that reflect a lot a lot of light and I don't want to risk to look too white in the areas where I want to highlight. So with a flat brush I'm just gonna add a little bit of light in the areas where naturally sun would hit my skin. Make sure you don't take a lot of product and you blend it really, really well. Because I've color correct my under eyes before, that's the reason that I don't have to apply a lot of product now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
This powder right here, I'm going to use it to set up my concealer. It's from Makeup Forever, it's a super matte loose powder. I am going to use it in the place where I put my concealer, but also on my entire face. Keep you in my heart, in my heart is where you are. I still think of you, I want you coming back. I remember when we were staring at a photo. Don't forget the way you look me in the eyes. And I keep you in my heart, in my heart is where you are. I still think of you, I want you coming back. Call me when you want, maybe I can take. Alright, yeah, I'm going to leave like one or two minutes this powder to bake on my face and I'm going to prepare the contouring, which by the way, I only like powder contouring. I actually use also creamy contouring, but my favorite ones are powder ones. I'm going to use for this video this one from Makeup Forever. It's uh, in the shade S116. I'm just going to take a small fluffy brush to have more precision on my skin. And I'm just going to dab it into the product and I'm going to start right at the bottom of my ear making upwards movement. Now going upwards from the bottom of my ear, upwards and making movement through the center of my face. In that way, the intensity of the blending is going to be positioned at the hairline and all the blending will fade towards the center of my, uh, of my face. If I do movements like this, perpendicular to my face, to the center of my face, I risk it to make a straight line that is not going to be blended. For the blush, I'm going to use one of my favorite color ever and ever. It's an um, artist face color from Makeup Forever. It's in the shade B308. I absolutely adore this color. I'm just gonna grab a little bit of color and then apply it just on my cheeks, but make sure that I blend it into my contouring. Keep you in my heart, in my heart is where you are. I still think of you, I want you coming back. Okay, so this is how my blush looks like. Now I'm just gonna clean all the powder from my face and I'm going to apply the highlight. Alrighty, time for highlighter. One of my favorite highlighter is this one from Melchior Professional. It's very shiny, so I'm gonna take it and blend it into my blush. I'm going to use this palette from Morphe and I'm going to start with this color right here. Because I have quite rounded eyes, my transition color will always be placed above my crease. If I would apply my transition color into my crease, when I open my eyes, it won't be visible anymore. So I am not going to charge a lot of color into the brush because I want to build it again slowly but surely. If you guys watched my videos before, you know that I'm not a big fan of the fluffy brushes, so I kind of work with flat brushes all most of the time. But yeah, it's always a start for everything. <laughs> Because I have quite rounded eyes, always my eyeshadow has to go a little bit more in the exterior of the eye because we want to create the almond illusion. Now I'm going to take the chocolate bar palette from Too Faced and I'm going to take this brown right here. I'm going to use a flat brush from Makeup Forever 
and I'm going to place it all over my lids. You guys, every time I open this palette, it makes me eat chocolate. It smells so good. Now take the same fluffy brush from before and blend the edges really well. I just love the combination between these two colors. I think it's so such a nice vibe, such a summer fresh look. Now I'm going to take a little bit of black and apply it as closer as possible of my lash line. For the lower lid, I'm going to do basically the exact same thing that I did before. I'm just going to connect the orange color and blend it in the exterior and then apply brown and a little bit of black on my waterline. After I applied black pencil into my waterline, I always like to set that pencil with a little bit of black eyeshadow. Alright, so this is my look, now I'm going to do my lips. I didn't apply falsies on my eyes because I feel like uh, it looks better like this. I did charge my lashes with a lot of mascara. As you can see from my lips, I have overlined them a little bit with a nude uh, pencil. And now I'm going to use this nude color from Makeup Forever. Now, in order to make my lipstick to last even longer, I'm going to apply the same translucent powder that I set my concealer. In this way, not only any lipstick you have can turn into a matte one, but also your lipstick will last longer. Alrighty, so this is my final look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope I managed to make you understand my technique of makeup. I find it really, really easy to follow up with my explanation. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and just can't wait to see you guys in the next one.